and we're looking at some of the enabling technologies for 5G wireless. These include massive MIMO, full duplex communications, millimeter wave, and also enabling our control of our wireless technologies through software-defined networks. So for massive MIMO, what I mean here is to have a, a system where we have 100, say, base station or access point antennas serving, say, 10 clients at the same frequency and in the same time slot. Through the super directive nature of such a large array, this enables us to isolate that particular user spatially with our antenna radiation pattern and thereby we can implement space division multiple access and reuse the spectrum. This can provide a significant gain in terms of the capacity of our wireless networks, one of the um, goals of 5G wireless. Another technology we're looking at is full duplex. So in a traditional wireless receiver, we use usually a bank of filters to separate the functions of transmit and receive. So the transmitter basically doesn't deafen the receiver. In our work on full duplex communications, we've been using electrical balance isolation to isolate the transmit port from the receive port by providing a balancing impedance in the hybrid that mimics the impedance of the antenna. This is then complemented by the injection of your own transmit signal, which has been equalized to represent what would be leaking in from the antenna port. I also mentioned millimeter wave communications at the beginning. And the, the problem we've got for 5G is finding that available spectrum. So, Below 6 gigs, we've probably only got about a gigahertz of available bandwidth for our wireless technologies. Moving above 30 gigahertz and up towards 100 gigahertz, we're going to find pockets of a gigahertz or 5 gigahertz or 7 gigahertz. So this makes it very attractive for providing access in hotspot regions. And if we do this, we could then apply something like software-defined networks where our control plane goes out over, say, 700 megahertz, giving ubiquitous coverage, and then we connect into our um, communications channel, our data plane, through the most appropriate technology that's available in that region. It could be Wi-Fi, or it could be millimeter wave access, or it could be LTE advanced. So there's a whole family of um, technologies that we're looking to enable 5G wireless.